Howdy, POH, hey, here's story. I was just reading over all the comments I've got recently after, after the last few months. It's quite surprising how many narrow-minded and small-minded people there are out there. Some people still say to me, what would I know about anything? Um, and yet, I was the guy standing there I went all the way up there to Byron Bay. Now, this one guy made a comment. I went and viewed his channel, and he's got an American accent. Uh, he talk like he really know what he was talking about, and you know who you are because you are really intelligent. And all these videos are about is knocking other people for trying to have a go. So, of course, I've got a, you know, a duck's back, and, of course, it just ran off my back. And like any other good piece of diarrhoea, it doesn't worry me, it just runs off my back and I just forget about it and I don't smell of it. But they do. So, yeah, so those people that want to knock me for having a go at trying to solve the Theo Hayes thing, well, just for your information, Mr Smarty Panthers and, and people that were nasty to me leaving comments on that one on that where I'm wearing this same coloured shirt, I think it was, um, update... Um, well, unless you are prepared to fly over to Australia and you go travel up to Byron Bay, you go talk to men of people I go talking to, you go spend the amount of money I did getting up there and everything else and doing what I did, well, you just shut your bloody mouth and don't you make a comment about it. Because if you've got nothing to say but narcissism and being nasty and ridiculing me for me trying to help a family solve the case of their missing son, well... I just hope one day your family goes disappearing, your whole family goes disappearing, and then, then you'll say, oh, somebody please come and help me, and then I hope they read your messages that you left on my channel, and they turn around and say, no, stop him, because he doesn't give a rat's ass about anybody else. He only cares about himself. I mean, you're just vicious, mean, degenerative, you know, people. And I, I know there's people like you in the world, but really... I mean, this case is, the guy's been dead and dead for two years. There is a $1 million reward. And what you smarty pants don't realise is that I actually talked to the private investigator who is still involved in the actual case. You are not involved in the case. You are not involved with the private investigator. You would not have a rotten apple's idea what's going on in your eye, let alone what's going on. And a rotten apple in your eye means the eye, the apple in your mother's eye, which means you're the perfect child. Seeing you're that dumb, I'll have to explain it to you. Oh, sorry, that's an extraordinary expression. Oh, sorry, that's right. Your 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 sophisticated intelligence criticising me. You probably would know that the expression. Oh, you are the apple of your mother's eye. Where where it comes from? It's only been around for over a hundred years. Uh, anyway, so you dead beats. Um, you know, I. Mate, I'm going to leave those comments there. I think they're absolutely ridiculous. Um, and I, I invite everybody to go down and have a look at my channel way down there on all the Theo Hayes' comments. All the videos I marked as Theo Hayes, especially the one with Theo Hayes' update comments, where I'm, I think I'm wearing this coloured shirt, uh, this actual shirt actually, by chance. I just happened to have it on. And I started getting all these messages there today. Um, several of them by one peanut. Yes, I'm going to call you a peanut because you are a peanut. Uh, you've got no videos to your name, virtually. You've got all the videos you've got is about being nasty to other people about whatever they do or whatever you are. I couldn't even be bothered looking at them. And from a person my age, who cares and travels up the east coast of my country at my age, you are a young guy. If you've got such a big bloody mouth, Get on a bloody plane and you get up there and you go try and work it out, smarty pants. If you're so bloody crash hot and you think you're God's gift of turds, you go have a look. Yeah, I'm going to rip into you because you think you're big and tough and you can rip into me on a comment and nobody's going to know about it. I'm going to let everybody know about it, mate. So everybody, please go down there and look at the P.O.H.A.S. stories. They're down there a couple of months ago. And you go and look with this, this idiot has got to say about people that are trying to find a person's dead loved one. How would you like it? If, someone, if you lost your son or daughter halfway around the world, 
and a bloke like me come along and try to find that missing son or daughter, would you like somebody to leave me dirty comments? Yeah. Anyway, that's their first time I I don't leave people like this get on underneath my skin. May sound like it, I just woke up and haven't had a cup of coffee yet. But, um, yeah, just don't have a look. Uh, can waste your time. Anyway, other than that, have a lovely time. Have a better year, have a better life. And get on with the life and always be happy. And don't let dead beats like this run us down. Because if they've got nothing else better to do, they go around trolling people who go out and spend their money and try to help a family halfway around the world. Well, mate, I hate to see with their girlfriends or their boyfriends or his boyfriend even thinks of him. I mean, you know, he must think he's an absolute drip. Actually, I don't think he'd even have a boyfriend, let alone a girlfriend. He might have a duck or a pig or something, I think. You'd have to be the way how love he is. Anyway, from Mr. Hominoid, keep it nice and clean. See you later. Have a good day. Keep your smile up. And prayers, hopefully one day, he reckons that something about, oh, he climbed up the rock face. Right? And he called me an idiot or whatever he called me or whatever. Climbed up the rock face. The guy hasn't even been there. I stood there. I walked up there after he turned the camera off. And I even said to my friend, there's no way in the world you can climb up the rock face. Not out over the ocean area. And why would you? You're a backpacker. And then another idiot left a comment, why would a back why would a person, a young person, go swimming at night? For that, you need a car. Mate, I used to go swimming in the Hawkesbury River when I was a kid. When it was a hot, stinking night at 8 o'clock at night, you're working on a hot farm all night, you duck in the river. I used to go to Hastings Point, and for that smart ass that thinks he knows everything, Hastings Point is 20 kilometres up to the north of Byron Bay, Pottsville, Hastings Point, Cabarita, Bogangar, Kingscliff, Cudgeon, Fingal Head, Tweedens, Coolangatta, Kira Beach, there you go, I can name more, Broken Head, Lennox Head, Ballina. Ocean Shores. Bloody idiot. You think you're talking to a bloke who doesn't know anything about the area? I grew up and lived up around there and lived up there in a bus. Listen to the video, you fruitcake. <laughs> ah. Anyway, thanks for listening, Mr. Mr. Hominoid. Oh, jeez, I don't know. Some, pe- some people just want to criticise other people for trying to find a dead, per- a dead person for their loved ones. You're a mongrel. You're a parasite. Go back in your hole. See you later, people. Love you. Like your channel, subscribe to the channel. Go down and have a look at the parasite. Leave him a dirty comment and go look at his channel. Ah, it's got nothing on it. It's about as useful as wet toilet paper.